For me, it, 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 it's an honor to be the last speaker today. Uh, we have heard quite many new things today. And uh, we are launching several new, uh, new things today. Uh, we already heard about uh, white paper, which we are opening pu publicly uh, here today. And we, we have one more interesting thing, which is new, and we are uh, ready to launch it. So uh, um, I'll be presenting Let's NT. Uh, and uh, Let's NT is machine translation portal. So um, uh, EU. this is official uh, website for Let's NT. And this is uh, sustainable user-driven machine translation factory in a cloud, providing services for uh, user data sharing, NT generation, customization, and running. This is very brief and precise de definition, but I will go in details uh, uh, in my next slides. Um, so uh, let's NT EU. This, uh, this web, web, website, uh, that's how, how it looks. And uh, I will tell you a little bit about background, why we decided to create Let's NT platform. Um, there's constantly growing demand for translations in the world. Each day, Human, uh, humans are creating more and more content. Uh, uh, we have various products uh, and companies are localizing them uh, to, to enter new markets. We, we have Latvian and Estonian and Lithuanian and many more uh, language specific versions of uh, Windows and Office and many, many other software products. Uh, our cars come with manuals in different languages, uh, cell phones, and uh, all, all technical stuff comes with manuals, and all, all this information needs to be localized to, to, to um, different markets in different languages. Um, there is constantly growing demand for translation of legal documents. European Union, uh, national, uh, governments, uh, uh, all uh, these institutions are producing uh, many texts, and, and uh, these texts need to be effectively disseminated uh, to target audiences. Uh, there are many international websites uh, providing information in many languages, and uh, user-generated content, especially in social networks, uh, is exploding. So uh, many of this inf information need, needs to be translated, or producers of this information would like to access new audiences uh, uh, in, differ in uh, uh, different languages. But at the same time, there is a very big price pressure. Uh, uh, there is big demand for low price translations, and, and there are ar areas where uh, quality of translation is not as important as price. And you can think even about content which will never, never be human translated, because uh, authors of this uh, content will never be able to pay for human translation. Uh, or people who, who would like to use this content, they, they, they cannot buy it in their own language. So uh, and this, this leads to a uh, growing need for technologies helping to translate faster and cheaper. And uh, if some years ago, uh, translation agencies and big international organizations thought should we try machine translation? 
Now they are not asking the same question. Now they are asking, how can we try machine translation? How can we uh, embed machine translation in our workflows? How can we, we translate more and cheaper? Um, if we speak, we, we have heard many things about machine translation today. And uh, there are global providers like Google and Microsoft, uh, and they offer free online machine translation. Everybody can use it. And so many people are, are using it. And these systems are good, I would say, even excellent for uh, gisting. If I uh, find some information in internet and it is written in language I don't speak, let's take Portuguese, Chinese, and many, many other languages I, I don't speak, I can at least grasp meaning of this text by using machine translation. I can translate from Portuguese to English and then understand at least main points in, in text. Um, but um, are these public machine translation uh, solutions um, solving all our needs? Uh, Does one size fit, fits all? No. Uh, if we speak about uh, application of machine translation in very specialized uh, uh, applications, like translation of uh, EU documents, uh, uh, localization of cell phones, uh, and, and many other domain-specific things, uh, this big public machine translation systems are good for everything, but not particularly for any particular uh, application. Uh, so th that led to, uh, to our vision about Let's MT. Uh, Let's MT enables uh, users to build their own machine translation solution. So this is cloud-based self-service machine translation factory. So if you are a user, uh, let's say, big international organization or translation agency, and you have previously translated documents, maybe you have thousands or even millions of such documents, you can up upload these documents to this cloud-based platform and build uh, your own machine translation system, which is tailored to your specific domain. It, it, it might not be as good as Google translating uh, news pages, but it will be excellent in translating uh, texts exactly in your domain. Um, and we evaluated uh, 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 let's MT platform and, uh, and looked how, does it help to to, um, to increase translator productivity and uh, in our initial evaluation we, we discovered that uh, using machine translation system uh, you can trans, uh, can do software localization almost uh, thirty uh, three percent uh, more effic efficiently. So if you previously mm, uh, uh, can, uh, could translate uh, one page in, uh, uh, in one hour, now you can, uh, can uh, translate it uh, in 40 minutes and uh, you, you get free time to drink coffee and enjoy other things. Um, and that's from perspective of translator. From perspective of uh, translation agencies, it's huge economy of money. Um, let's see statistical machine translation. It, lear it learns if we can use word learn for machines. It, it, it learns all linguistic knowledge and, uh, and, uh, and lexicons from data from previously translated documents. Uh, it's relatively easy and quick to to build such machine translation systems. Um, but it requires amounts and amounts of 
parallel and monolingual data. But we live in digital age where all documents are uh, prepared digitally and uh, translation, uh, if they are translated, translations are available. So for, for particular domains, we can build uh, domain-tailored machine translations, which are far more precise, far more efficient than big and uh, large publicly available systems. So let's and let's is a result of uh, collaboration between leading uh, universities and and industrial. Uh, uh, an industry. Um, uh, this uh, uh, project uh, was uh, uh, co-financed by a European Commission as well, and uh, we created the system during the last two and a half years. We have probably, I, I should mention, most prominent partners, University of Edinburgh, uh, which, which uh, is a research center which maintains Moses SMT toolkit, uh, University uh, of Uppsala, which, uh, which uh, maintains a uh, famous opus corpus, and they, they are experts in data processing and data preparation for, for uh, machine translation, University of Copenhagen, University of Zagreb, uh, and they are uh, specialists in their uh, in their fields, uh, small languages, uh, uh, testing, evaluation, and uh, Moravia. More uh, this is uh, one of the world's leading uh, localization companies, uh, users of machine translated and, di and data providers. So let's end the project. Uh, at least his uh, first phase of this project has, uh, has been finished. We have accomplished uh, uh, first, first version. It's available for, for everybody. So I, I welcome you to this um, solution. You can come and see, try how it fits your needs for machine translation.